Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I haven't done this in a while, so I forgot to sponsor Ron, but I know who Ron is. He's sitting right next to me. Uh, he's the co-host tonight. I'm Rich Walsh. Give us a call tonight, 412-575-2600. Long is the time, number. I know. It's been a long time that you I and I have been together. I myself to you. <laughs> Well, I obviously know who you are. Everybody and, knows who you are, man. You're a legend. And everyone knows who Tom Wilson is now. Oh, they sure do. Dirtiest player in the league. One of the top three dirtiest players in the league. And finally, I think the NHL player department, Department of Player Safety did something right tonight. Yeah, three-game suspension. I thought it was going to be two. I'm a little surprised at three because uh, they didn't do anything to him after they hit on Dumoulin Sunday. I don't think they like the fact that uh, this was back-to-back games with big hits. I personally thought the one last night on Aston Reese was much worse than the one on Dumoulin. I, I thought Dumoulin turned into him. And then to see him laughing and giggling on the, on the bench afterwards, I don't think it was a good look. Whether or not he was just laughing at something somebody said, uh, they gave him three. I think that's fair. And now the Penguins move on. They've got to find a way to win tomorrow. I truly believe that the winner tomorrow night, Rich, will win the series. If you, it's Washington, I think they win. If it's Pittsburgh, I think they win. Do you think the laughing had anything to do with a, to getting him getting another game? Do, do they take that into consideration at all, something like that? I don't know. It, it, who knows what they do? You can't get a grip on what they do. They're so inconsistent. But it was a bad look. And I saw Barry Trotz say today, somebody, you know, 19,000 people were booing him. Somebody said, oh, you're real popular in this town. And he kind of smiled. I can buy that. But it still was a real bad look when Aston Reese is bleeding from the mouth, broken jaw, being helped off the ice. I don't think it helped his cause by any stretch. I actually thought, I was thinking today that he might not get anything because he wasn't penalized uh, even after they huddled. They said after the game it was a clean hit. Um, so I was thinking like, well, he's going to have a hearing, but he, he might not get anything, maybe one game at, at the most. So I was really shocked with the three games. Yeah, me too. I thought, I was guessing it was going to be one, maybe two, not three, but he's a top line player. We're not talking about some slug out there. He plays with Kuznetsov and uh, Ovechkin on their top line. This will hurt Washington, and uh, good. I, I mean, good for them. He, a dirty player. He got paid, uh, penalized. He had to pay it, and we'll see if he can come back for Game Seven, which wouldn't surprise me if this series goes seven games. Yeah, I think it's going to go seven games, and I agree with you 100% on whoever wins tomorrow is going to win this series. Um, but, you know, the, the Pens have faced adversity tomorrow, faced adversity before in the postseason and, and has fought off elimination games. Not many, though, and um, I, I think that they're going to win tomorrow. I, I feel like that this, this is a series where they were going to split home ice and it's going to turn into a three-game series and whoever wins uh, two of the next three. Um, why do you think that whoever wins tomorrow is going to win well, the I series? Well, I think if Washington wins, they go up 3-1 with two games at home. I don't know that the Penguins are going to beat them two, three in a row with two of the games in Washington. And I just feel like if the Penguins win tomorrow 2-2, two, two, as you said, best of three. We know the history between these teams. I like the Penguins' chances of uh, winning it in six, if not seven, uh, if they win tomorrow night, but I don't give them a lot of chance if they lose tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's a critical game, and uh, I, I think it's, I, I agree with you, it's a, it's a make or break it uh, for the Penguins. I, I mean, they can come back from a 3-1 sure. deficit. Washington almost came back from a 3-1 deficit last year, um, but I, I just Took think it to that, game seven, and yeah. Flurry had to play spectacular hockey, and uh, that's how they won game seven. But I, I don't like, I, I, I want to see them win uh, two out of the last three, not three in a row. Speaking of the goaltender, you brought up Flurry, but Murray called himself shaky. Um, are you surprised that he would say that? He's pretty uh, even keel, cerebral. He doesn't take much blame yeah. ever. Uh, I thought that goal with Niskanen tied it up last night was awful. He's got to make that save. I'm not going to rip him for not stopping Ovechkin on a two-on-one. Uh, he's the premier goal scorer of our generation. But I thought the Niskanen goal was really weak. Um, and, but he's always proven to bounce back. Uh, we'll see. I mean... Mike Sullivan's never lost three games in a row in the postseason. Hopefully it's not going to start tomorrow. Yeah, and they haven't lost three games at home since, what, 2011. And they, did. and they didn't have Crosby or Malkin in that series against Tampa right. when they lost three in a row. So that's what's surprising to me is their home record. I mean, they were so good at home, probably the best team in the playoffs coming into the postseason 
with a home record, and so far they've won and one now, out of four. Uh, Washington is four and zero on the road. They're not. They're not going to be intimidated playing here tomorrow night. That's for sure. All right. Well, we're not intimidated by any phone calls. Give us a call. Four one two five seven five. 2600 is the number, or you're always welcome to tweet us. Back in a couple minutes.